So recently, I've made a pressure chamber. This thing. If you've been following my aluminum chuck casting videos, you know that this thing I made in one of the episodes. And the main purpose of it was to get a better looking cast part. And it seemed to work really well. So I've seen on YouTube a lot lately on vacuum chambers, in particular about putting things inside them. Well, we get to see what happens to objects that are put inside of vacuums, but what happens to an object when it gets put inside the exact opposite? Pressure. Here it is, the pressure chamber. Now, what do we put in it? I think what I'm gonna put in it for this video is a balloon to see what happens to the balloon in the pressure chamber. I don't think I wanna go much bigger than that, partly because I don't think it will fit. So this will be perfect. Now we'll just have to tie this off with one hand. Hmm. Time to put it in the pressure chamber. So I think to make this thing fit, I'm going to tape it to the top here. Probably right like there. I guess we'll also be testing what happens to a GoPro when it's in a pressure chamber. Because this pressure chamber is dark, we'll need to add a flashlight. There we go. Okay, we got all that done. So that's about one atmosphere. That's about two atmospheres. Well, actually, that's about more like two atmospheres. And all right, there's about three atmospheres. The, the sandal's all cold. <laughs> That's funny. Should we see if the GoPro survived? Cool. The GoPro survived. Well, the balloon itself doesn't look like it had much of a difference. It looks as identical as when I put it in there. In fact, this red balloon may be the only balloon to experience four atmospheres. Now to give you an example, one atmosphere would be equivalent to 14.7 psi, or if you want to go another route, 30 inches of mercury. My pressure chamber can produce up to three atmospheres more than this atmosphere. You see, it did say zero psi on the gauge, but we know that we are already in a 14.7 psi that's in our world. If we're counting from absolute zero, I am amazed at that result. I was not expecting it to shrink that much. Wow, very, very, very cool. Well, usually you see them expanding, like in vacuum chambers, that's what you would see is the balloon expanding from that small balloon to a very large balloon. But in this case, it, it worked the exact opposite. It, it shrank a blown up balloon to as though it was not even blown up at all. That's very cool. Oh man, this was awesome. I hope you've enjoyed this little quick little tidbit video. Um, if you see have anything else you want to see me put inside of a pressure chamber, just post in the comments down below and we'll see. Oh, by the way, you actually have been exercising during this video. You didn't really realize it, but your lungs are constantly lifting 14 pounds or pounds per square inch. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye.